Yes, yes, Massive and Crew, back once again with another video. And today I'm going to show you how we go about recording what we hear using the Apollo console software. Now, it's very, very tricky if you don't know how. I've been messing about with the mixer for quite a while now, and I managed to find a way that you can actually record the sound, and I didn't actually know this. So without further ado, let me just get straight into it. So as you can see here now, I'm going to play Job Plate Wars. Right, song, one of my videos, right? So, for copyright purposes, so we're all good, right? So, I've got that playing in the background now. When I go to Adobe Audition, I hit record, nothing comes out. And no matter what you do in the preferences, usually you would have to set up the hardware, audio hardware. You got to make sure, obviously, it's got UAD Apollo set up on your audio hardware let me just uh, stop that video for a minute so as you can see that the sounds not exactly rooting through right so the next step what I'm going to do is make sure your audio hardware is configured see I've got import audio polo output audio polo right universal sorry audio polo okay so what you've got to do here now is you've got to set your audio channel mapping right or your audio inputs to virtual one and virtual two now I've set mine to virtual one and virtual two, as you can see. I'm not sure how it differs from um, from from interface to interface, but on the Apollo, this is how I do it. So you set your imports to virtual one and virtual two, and as you can see, if I press play here and I hit record, still nothing will happen. Right, this is because the audio is not routing through properly. As you can see, there's no signal down here. Okay, so let me just stop that again. Okay, so the way you get around this now is you go up to your Macintosh searchlight, finder, whatever you call it, and you type audio MIDI setup. As you can see, I typed it there earlier. Click that, and then this opens up. Now, here's where the magic happens. You then have to find your interface, assuming you only have one. I've got a few. So you find your universal audio interface and what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says virtual one. And you see these two here, virtual one and two. Hit configure speakers, change it from monitor left and right to virtual one and virtual two. Hit apply, click done. And now anytime you want to record the sound that you hear on your computer, all you have to do is just make sure that you go into here and go to audio channel mapping and make sure that you've just got virtual one and two set there. As soon as you do it, do that, I'm going to press play on the video so you can see I'm recording straight from a video on YouTube. And if I go down here, hit the record button, you can see it's all recording perfectly in 16 bit. Now, obviously, I don't want you guys to go and record tunes from YouTube. I'm not, not, I uh, don't promote that at all. Um, this is just for educational purposes. Um, you know, you guys can use this. Anything that you put into your Mac, you're able to record to WAV, whether it be a DVD or whatever. You want to get some samples for your music production. Um, I hope you found that video useful, people. Please like, share, subscribe if you found it useful. Take care. God bless. Peace.